welcome Sonia Walker, everybody, Sonia Walker. Sure. And how lovely to see you on this lovely non-specified evening. Thank you. I'm delighted to be here on this non-specific evening. You wear a lovely dress. Just something. Red. It's very bold. It it, when in doubt, pick red. I always do. Right? Yeah. <laughs> now, are you, are you from, you're from England, I, I hear? I am. England and Argentina, both. Really? Yeah. That's a bit of a commute. <laughs> what did you do during the Falklands crisis? You must have been torn. Do you know, we call them the Falklands in the morning and the Malvinas in the afternoon. Very you know, wise, yeah. Everyone I was also seven, so... Well, yeah, well, if you were that age, you, you, they don't ask you to get involved. Well, no. <laughs> no volunteering. How, uh, so, what part of England did you grow up in? London. What part of London? Fulham. I know Fulham. It's near Chelsea. Just next door. Yes, Parsons I, yeah, Green. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, pa yeah. Parsons Green. No I know less. Parsons Do Green. You? Yeah, I used to dance under the name Parsons Green. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, are, are you a, a theatre actress by trade then? Is that what it was? I, I did lots of theatre. I did. And then I came over here and did a, an HBO show and then stayed. What HBO show? A show called The Mind of the Married Man. Oh, Maybe. yes. I never saw that. No. <laughs> well? No. I was single at the time, and I thought, who cares? And then... <laughs> three marriages later, it three, might have been no, worth well, it. No, I, I didn't get married, like, three times since that show was on. I mean, I could have. <laughs> <laughs> Are you married? I am newly married. Oh, congratulations, that's Six lovely. Yeah, that's great. Thank you very much. Are you, are you married to a man or a lady? I'm married to a man. How very traditional. But how and good that you asked. Well, no, I thought I'm going to try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, why, not? why not? Yeah, why not? Yeah. I'm modern. I'm right. modern. Clearly. Yeah. <laughs> so, is your husband from England? No, he's from Boston. He's from ah, Boston. So, he's from Ireland then? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and have you been to Boston? I love Boston. I have. We went once. It was raining the whole yes, time. Yes, that's Boston. That's yeah, Boston, you got the place. Right? Yeah. 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 We had it covered. It's nice. Yeah. So, but you live here now, right? We live here, we live in, in the hills, and also in the rain, except it might not oh, be well, oh, No, I think either. the rain may or may not have stopped may at an unspecified not. date. <laughs> right. You live out there? Just there. Over there. Just on the, over there. Yeah, on the hills, yeah. yeah. Just it's that nice. Hill. Do you know the thing about the Hollywood Hills is, though, that they have no sidewalks? I, isn't it a pain? Yeah, All these I, people that have children, what do they do? Well, they have to keep them indoors. They move to Santa Monica. <laughs> Yeah, Santa Monica, that's where you go when you've got kids. And then, you can take your Have you been at Santa Monica Pier? Yes. Do you? I just shot on the Santa Monica Pier in the torrential rain. Well, in you the, were... the sideways rain. Really? Yeah, we were on the big Ferris wheel shooting a scene. In sideways rain? Sideways rain. Uh, up at the top. There's a reason they closed the Santa Monica Pier when it's During raining. the sideways there, rain? Yeah, a... no, it's not for filming. No, and but there we were at the top of this this thing. And I've got a little kid next to me who's got vertigo. And I keep telling him, it's fine. Shh, it's a fine, kid it's fine. Be sick that way. Yes. Oh, little I wouldn't let my kid act. No, it was no. terrible. Lightning. No, It was no. a bad scene. No. Would you, uh, do you have kids? Not yet. Yeah. Will, will you let them? Why not? Because you just got married. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes people have kids and they're not even married. I know. <laughs> I got nothing to say about that. <laughs> but, um, would you, if, when you have kids, will you let them be actors? No. No. No, no, no. no, no I'm no. sending them back to England. Are you? Yes. Yeah, to boarding to school? To Harry Potter school? <laughs> <laughs> Teach them to be wizards? <laughs> That would be fun. That'd be great. I, I think there's a whole school. generation of kids that want to go to boarding school because of Harry Potter. Yeah, they're la someone needs to clear that up. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> did you go to a boarding I school? I did. And did you? Was yes. it a school for all girls? Just say yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> was it? Where, in England? <laughs> was it in England? It was in England. Wow, man, that must have been a terrible pillow fighty thing going on at night. <laughs> <in Ireland. laughs> Uniforms and knee-high oh, socks. Oh, that's awful. Island. How terrible for you. It was terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and did you go to university there? I did. I went to Oxford there. Oxford, no, you say? Nice. So you're very brainy then. What did you study at Oxford? Reading. Reading? <laughs> English literature. In America, many of us master it before <laughs> university. But they, uh, what, what kind of reading did you... That's why they're the rulers of the world. Yeah, I guess. We're the not. No, uh, English literature. Which oh, is English literature written by English people then, or <laughs> predominantly English people, not foreign authors no. translated into English. No, literature right. written by English speakers. Right, Shakespeare writers, then. For instance. Yeah. Yeah. 
that Any modern that stuff? Got as far as T.S. Eliot, ran out about there. Yeah, I always find T.S. Eliot a bit incomprehensible. I know everyone loves it, but I'm like, oh, what the hell are you talking about? I don't understand. <laughs> Maybe I would understand if I'd gone to a good school or something. But Maybe. I, he's, a, he's a tough one. Yeah, I think so, yeah. He's not for the faint of heart. No, he's not for people who have got TV either. <laughs> Oh, shut up, T.S. Eliot. What's on TV? I always think. <laughs> Who's your favourite then out of all that mob then? Do you have a do you have an identifiable like like Byron, although he was Scottish, but the uh, you know somebody that you really just identify with more than any other uh, writer? Do you know Henry James is a favourite, and weirdly he was someone that I studied at, at Oxford, and then it occurred to me the other day he was an American who moved to England and spent his whole life writing about what it was to be an expat, and yeah. I suddenly thought, huh. How weird that I've moved to America. I've never read any Henry James. I feel back. terribly unable to help you there. I haven't I've read any. I'm all right on that level. Yeah. I'm okay. What about uh, P.G. Woodhouse? <laughs> you ever read any P.G. Woodhouse? Nah. You never, never read P.G. Woodhouse? Is that worth it? Oh, yes. P.G. Woodhouse was an English writer who became an American. He actually became an American citizen when he was 93, just before he died. Really? Yeah. And he um, he used to write all the... Oh, it's terribly... Oh, Jeeves, oh yeah, Jeeves. Yeah, yeah. 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 And he was, he was very uh, incisive social commentary wrapped in humour. It was almost as if he disguised his rapier wit by just being, you know, sort of obviously funny. <laughs> I read that one a book. <laughs> I saw it, I saw it on TV actually. I, I saw it in a documentary. <laughs> uh, um, I don't know. So anyway, we're completely out of time, uh, which uh, is dreadful. Um, but that's you know unspecified. Yeah, it is. That's yeah. unspecified yeah. nights of show business. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> What's the show about? The Flash... Uh, flash... Flash what? Forward? Flash Forward, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, no. The one I'm on? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's about people seeing a, a tiny glimpse of their future. Everyone passes out and they all get a little minute and a half of seeing their future. Well, I wouldn't like that. No, nah, uh, it's not good. It doesn't work out so well. For no, I'm sure. For it, most of it. It sounds like a bit of a cliffhanger. Is that cliffhanger? Yes, it is a cliffhanger. And, uh, <laughs> and do, people, do people at the end of one week go, oh, I better watch that next week? Hopefully. And do they think when they see it, oh, I should probably buy the products advertised in between each act? <laughs> That's yeah, the plan. that's what you want. That's yeah, the plan. yeah. Welcome to America, Sonia. Yeah, <laughs> we gotta go. The lovely Sonia. Yeah. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Thank you. the great show Common Law, which is fr on Fridays on the USA Network. Please welcome the very attractive Sonia Walger, everybody. Sonia Walger. Hi, Sonia. Hi. You look great. I mean, Thank really, you. really lovely. Thank you're quite you elegant, so but much. you've lost nothing in your sexiness by being so elegant. <laughs> Thank it's you so true. much. You the three pieces. Yeah, you know, this is like men's spanks. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Holds it all in. I'm going to start wearing that. Yes. Yeah, but a that's little... a waistcoat where we come from. It's a waistcoat, it's yeah. It's something really, else. What here. part of England are you from? London. Again? London, yes, that's terribly nice. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you become a big fan of the Downton Abbey? Everybody over there is watching Downton Abbey. I, I am a fan. I was a f bigger fan of season one. Season two. I, I to say I'm with you I'm on this. A little bit of a soap. Yeah, because <laughs> season one I was like, oh, it's terribly, terribly unfortunate. Or oh, the Turkish gentleman <laughs> died in the lady's bed and all that kind of stuff. That and was then the season two, I'm like, oh, shut up. Season yeah, two, yeah. Every, they're just eavesdropping all the time. They like, just walk in the room. Yeah, you know, people are always like, just knock. Mm -hmm. Yes, that. Yeah, too much of that. Do you uh, eavesdrop a lot? Do you listen to people? Do you have a telescope spying your neighbors or anything like that? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you do. <laughs> 
<laughs> do you? Are you? I mean, like, sexually, does that excite you, watching other people uh, having sex <laughs> and they, they don't know that you're watching? I'm definitely going to say yes on national television. Yeah. yeah. No, it doesn't. Really? No. no I, no, but if I see an iPhone lying around unattended, yeah. I might look at a text. <laughs> That's, see, that's a very male-female thing, because males like to see their porn, women like to read their <laughs> porn. I think that's true. Yeah, but I didn't say a sext. I just meant I'm nosy. I, like, will... But that's will what I'm have saying. have a look, yes. Yeah, no, if it's sexy written down, like, men are like, oh, where's the pictures? Where's the pictures? <laughs> You'd be like, where's the, where's the messages of Where's the writing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, how are things going on The Common Law, then? It's pretty fun. Yeah? It's like, yeah, it's a nice show. We shoot Where'd, New Orleans, which is... New Orleans, that's yes. right. It's great down yes. there. Yeah. It's amazing. It's it's rough to be an actress trying to shoot in New Orleans because all the food is deep fried. Uh, Everything, yes. even the salad. Yes. Everything. <laughs> it's just deep fried you with a side of food gut, yeah. duck and some blue cheese. It's, that, anyway, that's what it is. Yeah, it sounds good. <laughs> Have good. you ever been? Emeril Agassi's got a place down there. Yeah, You've he's got several. One? Yeah, oh, it's great. He's the Bam guy. Is he? Yeah, he comes around and goes, bam, on your food. Uh, <laughs> Does it taste better? I, I don't know. It's, it costs more. <laughs> yeah. once, once he bams your food, it's like an extra 50 bucks. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Like, I bammed it. It's 50 bucks. Uh, so are you a cookie person? Do you? Uh, I love it. Do you, are you one yeah, of I'm a real foodie. I love it, and I love cooking, and I love making food. Any particular style of cooking you enjoy? You know, pretty much European, Moroccan, Frenchy. Ooh, I like the couscous all and of such. Love yes. tagine. Oh, very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you spicy then? Do you like yeah, spicy food? A little food? bit, a little mm. bit. But I'm half Argentine, you see, so I'm, I'm all about my meat. Oh. My dad's from Argentina. Really? Yes. Uh, have you ever been down there, Tara? Many times. Just right. was there at Christmas. Really? Yeah. That sounds very exciting, Argentina. It sounds I'd love to very go there. exciting. Yeah, it's an interesting mix to be half English, half Argentine. I imagine easier now than it was a few years ago. Yes. Yeah. I used to go to school and have the, um, have them, uh, we'd call them the Falklands in the morning and then we'd call them the Malvinas in the afternoon. Oh, really? Yes, that uh, was the only way around. That was around the way you got around yeah. it. Oh, yeah, that's a bit tricky. So, uh, there you are. Now, you're doing the, uh, <laughs> did you watch Dancing with the Stars last week? Wasn't that awesome? The, uh... Amazing. <laughs> I don't watch it. I don't I, watch any I, reality TV. You don't watch any real. I watch the Mythbusters, but I don't think that's reality TV. I think that's... <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it's not. It's science. It's science TV. It's a kind it? of like light-hearted science program, yeah. Do you enjoy the science? I love the science. I like the um, David Attenborough. Oh, thingies. natural history. Yeah, yes, I love him. The glaciers and the, the penguins. Yeah, yeah, the... On board, we see the quiet little duck going. Yeah, he exactly. speaks quietly. Yes, yeah. yes. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Have you ever been to the Antarctic? No, not yet. Have you? No, it's always been a dream of mine. Has it? <laughs> yeah, actually, I'd quite like to go there. Oh. Would you like to go there, that yeah. vast expanse of wilderness? It'd Lots be like doing the monologue. Just <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I, I do like that. So are you in New Orleans uh, for good now, or just no, where you're shooting? New Orleans, just where we shoot the show, and then we go to vast uh, lengths and expense to make it look like Los Angeles, which is such a terrible waste of time. Cause right. It's set in L.A., the show. So, yeah, we have to hide all the beautiful architecture and fight basically the ugliest corners of New Orleans. Right, yeah, shoot, yeah. Is well, that, if, for show. anywhere to look like L.A., find the crappiest part of your own town, and there you are. There you are. Voila, Done. L.A. Yeah, yeah so yeah, anytime no, there's, true. like, a pretty balcony, we're like, yeah, frame it out. Just, yeah. yeah so no, that no, I hear you. We don't that. get any of that. But are you still living in London, then? Uh, I'm, no, I live in L.A. I live here, but I was just in London last week because it was my mum's birthday. Oh, well, Same day as yours, it turns out. 17th of May. May 17th. Oh, She's yeah. your biggest fan, I'm going to put, say, roughly. But she is. How... She is. How big is she? Pretty big. Yeah, all right. Not in that way, but right. a pretty big fan. Oh, all right. So well, what was... part of London does she live in? Fulham. I like Fulham. I used Do to you? spend a little bit of time down in Fulham, actually. Did you? Yeah, I knew a girl in Fulham. <laughs> there aren't many. Which one? Oh, there was one or two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I used to spend a little bit of time in Fulham and Chelsea, that area. Yeah. yeah. It's nice, that area. It's lovely. I was just there this weekend, as mm -hmm. I say, for her birthday. And because it's the Olympics and the Jubilee, mm. London is intense. Very right now. busy right now. Full of flags and frantic people. It's like holding San flags. San Francisco during gay pride. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh. And yeah. they've dug up all the roads. Talk about traffic. Why? Terrible roads. Because they're prepping for the Olympics. For the Olympics, for yeah. Are you a sports fan? Are you going to go? No, nothing. You don't like sports? <laughs> Not even the ribbon-waving thing? Tennis. 
Tennis? It's not a sport. It barely counts as a sport. Yeah, I, I know. look forward to you. Tootsie Fruitsie. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> it's a joke. I love tennis. Tennis is great, especially when it's on CBS. I, uh... <laughs> you, you like tennis, really? I really do. My little brother is a sports journalist. He's just left uh, university and he's just got his sports journalism degree? No, because oh. you can't do that at university. <laughs> but he's just got his press pass to the Olympics? all areas. Olympics. It's like the golden ticket yeah that's pretty spectacular it's pretty yeah. amazing yeah, yeah that's pretty good yeah, yeah. Would you think he, I, you'd lend that to me? I'm... <laughs> I'd quite like to go and to see you. some Olympic events. I think it'd be good. I am interested in, in it as, a, as an event. I like the rags to riches of it. I like the girl who punched her way to victory from the slums in Nicaragua. I like those backstories. <laughs> I just so you just like, made that up, yes. didn't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like that, that actually has never happened. Uh, <laughs> If you dug, dug deep enough, you'd probably sure, find yeah, that story sure. yeah, no, somewhere. It's, well, that's heartwarming. <laughs> story. No, but that's what I like is the heartwarming yeah, story. Yeah, you know what I like? I like the opening ceremony until yes. the, you know, the weird-looking kid wastes it. <laughs> like the camera pans over and all these beautiful kids, and then there's a weird-looking kid going, waving the flag too, because I always think I'd be that kid. <laughs> And then it takes me out of the whole thing. But you know when China just did the last ones and they did that amazing closing ceremony? Yeah. And then at the end they do the handover where, you know, the Eng it says that England's going to do the next one. Right. And China's just used, I don't know, a million people to do this unbelievable ceremony and gymnasts exploding and the whole deal. And then, <laughs> and then comes along a London bus yeah. that's about this big. Yeah. And the last winner of Dancing with the Stars or something <laughs> stands on the top. All right, you got the Olympic torch. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. It was one of See the you in four years. It was so humiliating. Yeah, it was like, no. really, that's the best we've got. It's a woman in a leotard and a pair of Spanx. I mean, it was yeah, just yeah. Right. Don't knock it. That's my life right there. <laughs> All right, listen, we're out of time. What do you fancy? A mouth organ, awkward pause, or the big cash prize? Big cash prize. What time is the show, Stevens? It's time for the big yeah. cash prize. You can either answer a question or you can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box in my head. I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. Uh, you try and guess. If you're right, Jeff will tell us. If you're wrong, something awful will happen to you. Yikes. Or you can answer a question. Answer the question. Okay, then fine. Do it. Ah. <laughs> Thank you.
We're all going through a bad period. Um, all right. Um, Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. The U.S. Congress approved the official boundaries of the state of Ohio in 1803. How many years later did Ohio become a state? Was it two years later, five years later, 25 years later, or 150 years later? I didn't even understand that. I didn't I understand the question. <laughs> <laughs> but I tried to look intelligent. Well, I'll, you tell you what, I'll, I'll do it. Just give Ohio me became a state. When did Congress say, okay, we have formally approve your statehood? Was it 150 years later? <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, it, it was! was. Yes. $50 million! Tell you how we'll be right back over there.